very good morning students so today we are going to discuss ecosystem restoration with a special reference to waste plants ecosystem restoration that is the restoration of degraded or destroyed ecosystem and when we are talking about the wastelands so wastelands are the lands which are uncultivable or not used for the agroforestry or horticultures and they have eroded soils are known as waste lands so let's again have what are the waste what is how will you define the waste lands so all these are waste lands whether they are become due to the anthropogenic activities or overgrazing or the minings or due to salinity or alkalinity of the soils or due to lots of stones are known as waste lands in this picture you can see the image of the waste lands now how these waste lands being created the land is an important resource since it is put to different use by men india has a land area of nearly 3.288 million square kilometer which is about 2.4% of the world loss of vegetation cover leads to loss of soil through erosions which ultimately creates wasteland so by this means by the all these ways the wastelands are being created in the absence of land management policy geomorphic processes become active due to which soil layers are being eroded and transported making these lands infertile stony and useless this is one of the pressing problem for a country as a loss of soil has already ruined large amounts of cultivable lands and if it remains unchecked then such type of land affects the other fertile land also hence to restore such type of lands is compulsory it has been reported that every year about 3 million hectares of cropland are ruined by various kinds of erosions about 4 million hectares are converted into deserts and 8 million hectares are taken away for non agriculture processes such as for the infrastructure buildings and for other purposes the deforestation leads to soil erosion and the eroded soil exhibit droughty tendency which later on converts into the waste lands deforestation again is a major problem there are two types of waste lands in this universe one is unculturable waste lands the lands which cannot and never be developed into the cultivable lands because such lands are being covered by the snow or you may call them the glaciers the second is cultivable waste lands these lands are cultivated but due to any reasons not in use more than 5 years are also termed as waste lands it consists of lands available for cultivation but not used in agriculture right so agricultural purposes because they can be reclaimed through conservational methods for cultivation grazing and for agroforestry Rajasthan have maximum area of wastelands as it has desert 
Even then, many anthropogenic activities are there. And they are also doing some deforestation, overgrazing, mining is also again a greater problem to create waste lands. Uttarakhand has 16,097 square kilometer wasteland. However, 30 hectares land at the edge of Munsiari has been converted into the right of flowers where hoyland tulips has been grown and this area have more than 36 different species of native flowers also. Some amount of the land by an ex-soldier Mr. Jagjit Singh Chaudhary has been converted into a dense forest. Now another example of restoration of degraded or the wastelands is the biodiversity park at Yamuna Bank. It's a good example of the wasteland restoration. There are different ways to convert the wasteland into the usable or the cultivable lands. So eight ways of wasteland reclamations are afforestation, reforestation to provide a surface area, mulching, changing ground topography on downhills, leaching, changing agricultural practices and ecological successions are the methods which can convert a wasteland into a cultivable lands. Reforestation, we have to regrow the plants that has been destroyed either by the fire or by the cutting or by water losing, floods or soil erosions is a prime method. And the another method is providing surface area that is the easiest way to protect the land surface from soil erosions just to leave the residues of the plants after harvesting the crop is a good method. And it is the common method, very common method adopted by the Indian farmers. Mulching. It is also a protective cover of organic matter and plants like stalks of cotton, tobacco and mustards, they are leave behind after harvesting on the land because they have a good holding capacity of the soil and they protect it from soil erosion. Leaching The land which is being salt affected or the alkaline or they have the salinity can be minimized by leaching them with more water lodging. Just to Fill that land by the water or by providing some chemicals as a method just, just like gypsum and other uh, chemicals compounds they can convert such type of lands into the cultivable. The next method is changing agricultural practices. The farmers can adopt the mixed cropping. Just in this picture you are just watching, it, it had, this is the land being having mixed cropping, banana and other trees are also there. Because each and every plant have their another capacities and the requirements from the lands and such type of mixed cropping can convert the wasteland into the cultivable. And the last option is ecological succession. This refers to the natural development or redevelopment of an ecosystem which helps in reclaiming the minerally deficient soil of the waste lands. These are the pictures showing the leaching methods. 
just to uh, put down some salts or some plastics to stop the water or soil erosion. The another that is changing ground topography on downhills. And this is the common method adopted in Uttarakhand. Running water erodes the soil, hill soil and carries the soil along with it. This can be minimized by following the alteration in ground topography. Just as strip farming and contour growing that is around, around the hill area or we can make out the steps. An ecological succession, this rapid natural development and or you may call the redevelopment in this picture, last one you are just watching, just to convert a barren land into a last green forest that is ecological succession, whether by growing the grasses or the moss or the shrubs or the tree, depends on the topography of the land. The wasteland includes the following categories of land in India. The land not available for cultivation that is totally barren and uncultivable wasteland. The other uncultivated and excluding fallow that is culturable waste permanent pasture and land under miscellaneous trees. Fallow lands that is also a land which is totally we used to call it in the Usar not cultivable have the many stones or the alkalinity or the salinity and it take time to convert it into a cultivable lands wasteland reclamation is the process of turning barren sterile wastelands into that is fertile and suitable for habitation as well as for cultivation Reclamation depends on the type of wastelands and definitely it will differ from place to place and it is being converted just to analyze the type of soil, what it requires and the method applied on that can be useful to convert the wastelands into the cultivable lands. By reducing the salt content of soil through leaching, as I have told you earlier, that is the use of gypsum, urea, potassium, some chemicals are being used before planting to convert such type of plants into fertile land or the cultivable lands. Plantation on community lands and wastelands, agroforestry, can be used as an effective strategy for reclamation of wastelands. However, Integrated Wasteland Development, that is IWGP scheme, has been launched by India in 1989, that is 90, and the basic objective of this scheme was an integrated wasteland development based on the village and micro watershed plants. These plants are prepared after taking into consideration the land capability, site and needs of the local people. Whatever they want to grow in such type of lands they, and their needs such as they want to grow the fodders for the animals or the need some uh, green crops for um, the or they whatever they need the vegetables. So for for uh, looking at the need, they um, such type of lands is being converted into the cultivable lands. The major activities taken for the schemes are in situ soil and moisture conservation measures, terracing, bunding, trenching vegetative barriers and drainage line treatment. Planting and sowing of multi-purpose trees, shrubs, grasses, legumes and pasture land development. All these are the schemes being carried out under this integrated management of wasteland scheme. 
encouraging natural generations, promotion of agroforestry and horticulture, wood substitution and fuel wood conservation measures. That is the prime task of this scheme, just to rehabilitate the peoples who are living in the forest for their livelihoods. Awareness, training and extension, again a major task for this under this scheme. Encouraging people's participation through community, organization and capacity building. Drainage line treatment by vegetative and engineering structure also comes under this schemes. So dear students, these are the major activities our government is taking to convert the wastelands into the cultivable lands. So that's all about the restoration of wastelands. How can it be converted into a fertile soil? Thank you.